ladies and gentlemen, of the 118 scale, 3.75 inch, 4 inch modern action figure community. I'm back again with another video. And in this video, we're going to be discussing Undertow of Destro's personal guard known as Iron Grenadiers. Now, the Iron Grenadiers uh, is a subset of uh, Cobra. It's actually Destro broke off from Cobra and created his own army, uh, definitely to protect his uh, castle, so he created his own personal guard. And in that army, known as the Iron Grenadiers, he had these guys that you see before you, known as Undertow, also going by the name of River Rats and Submarauders. Now, this was about in 1988. But in 1990, we actually got an action figure release. And uh, I'll show you what those figures look like here. But um, in the more modern times, we got uh, what you see before you here. So the Cobra, uh, the Cobra, um, I'm sorry, you know, it's actually not Cobra. It's Destro's undertow of the Iron Grenadiers. Uh, they are... A squad of like frogmen. However, um, we've seen frogmen before in the GI Joe line. Um, we have Torpedo, we have um, uh, Deep Six, we have, uh, there's a few others. And on the Cobra side, we have the Cobra Eels, and we also have the Cobra uh, Diver, I believe it is. I'll show some pictures here so you know what I'm talking about. But these guys actually go a step further. Um, they're, it says that they are uh, of, De of Destro's personal navy. So I take it that they are trained like or probably beyond a navy seal. Because it says these guys are operating in any type of uh, water. Whether it be rough water, whether it be uh, dank, disgusting rivers. Or um, you know how cities can have those nasty rivers running under town it says that they'll they'll uh operate in that it also says that they'll operate in sewers all kind of things so these guys are pretty nasty dudes and um who who wants to uh fight with a guy who just came out of the sewer he's covered in all types of crap he probably smells really bad so without further ado i want to uh take a look at the equipment that these guys come with so first and foremost, here is the file card for the undertow of Destro's personal army. You can pause and read that if you would like. And uh, moving right along, we'll get a look at uh, the equipment that they're packaged with. So I'm going to go first and, and uh, grab their helmet here. The original helmet was released... And it was, I believe, gray, and this was green with red eyes. But this particular version that we're discussing here is of the um, 2015 Comic-Con exclusive box set. And they were packaged with some other Iron, Gre Iron Grenadier members, such as uh, uh, that Maniac Metalhead. And uh, there is also... A officer, an undertow officer that was released. You had the Iron Anvil figures. You had, I believe, Voltar. And uh, the others were Tiger Force figures, which was really cool. Um, and that, again, was released in 2015. So that's a look at the... This is the only headdress that they have, it looks like. It's more of a mask. It's got one eye. And uh, this is their breathing apparatus right here. And it says that they have a non... Uh, infiltratable uh, suit that allows them to go into these environments and um, do their jobs and pretty much um, have the upper hand on anyone on any other uh, diver of that caliber. Next up, we have this uh, this sled. It's kind of like a um, jet propulsion type of uh, skiff. They hang on to it and it propels them along. It has one peg at the bottom for a golden missile that goes under there. 
and that's what you have. Pretty cool. Next, we have what looks like a harpoon gun. All cast in gold. We have a trident. I'm about to drop that. All right. Nicely done. Nicely detailed. Awesome. Can't forget that they all come with their own uh, figure stand, which reads Undertow. And it has a uh, Cobra logo on it. But these guys are not Cobra. They are Destro's personal army. And that army is known of known as the Iron Grenadiers. Um, but in 2000, upon a re-release, they were the Undertow was re-released as a Cobra sect. But um, for the most part, this is Destro's personal army. But moving right along, they have a backpack, and this is their breathing apparatus. There, there are no tubes or anything that connects this uh, to the face pieces single peg nothing really crazy is cast in two parts like this gold bronze looking part has been cat has been placed on so it's two parts or three rather because they're each individual but i think my favorite part of their equipment has got to be their flippers and there you have it right there these are pretty cool they're bendable they have a joint right here. If you see that, there's a joint that allows these to flip and for you to mold them and, you know, adjust them in the way you need to shoot your shots of them, you know, swimming. So I think this is pretty cool. Uh, a few of the figures, of the swimming figures come with these, but not all of them. The only other figure I believe that has these besides them is the eels and torpedo. But they have them all cast in black. These guys have theirs nicely done in a gray and black. So that's what you get there. So that's pretty much what you get in equipment. Now let's look at the figure. Ultimately, um, there's nothing really different about him from the uh, torpedo figure and the cobra eel figure. They are all pretty much cast the same way. There may be a couple minor differences. However, on this one you have the Destro Iron Grenadier logo and there you have it right there on his chest he's cast in a nice uh, gold black gray and red this is a 360 of him I'll show you right here what he looks like geared up and I think he's a pretty cool figure I'm not a big fan of the head sculpt because in this day and age especially for what you're gonna pay if you wanna pick up one of these things that head sculpt should be a whole lot nicer um, please do not try to pick up the box set. You are, you're going to be, uh, in a world of hurt. You're probably going to have to take out a second mortgage on your home and get one of those. So, you know, I, I just think he's a little plain Jane for what he's running for these days. But I think I like the concept of this unit. And I think it's a really cool, um, play on, uh, Frogman and, and, and like Navy SEALs and military in general. Um, these figures here, I think I'm going to give them, um, if, I, if I'm going to grade them, <laughs> they took each other out. So yeah, if I think I'm going to grade them, I think these guys are going to get a C. A, I'll, I'll, I'll leave it at a solid C. For these guys and the reason being is because they're very flimsy and um i like the whole concept they were definitely packed with a lot of cool gear but they were very they're very mid in comparison to some of the other figures um they're they're second to the eels i think the eels are packaged and they look a little better but these are really cool and if you ever decided to get them in your collection um i got lucky i got them a few years ago before um, everything went crazy with the box sets from the convention because some of those box sets could cost you up to um, $700 to $1,000. So, um, yeah, no, not happening. So if you're going to get your hands on these, you could possibly pick these up in the, after in the aftermarket um, individually. Um, 
collecting one just to say you have one in your collection is cool enough. You don't have to go for a whole three or ten or you're definitely not going to uh, team build these. So anyway, with that being said, I hope you like this video. Um, I hope you guys are having a great uh, November holiday season thus far. Um, keep checking back with me. Um, every Friday we're going to do these videos, all right? So with that being said, any questions or comments, feel free to put them down below. I'll get to them at my earliest convenience. And uh, yeah, I'm out. Happy, happy holidays. Peace.